Hi, this is Sameer for ThinkDigit.com and today we're going to take a look at the Zen Ultra Tab A100. This is a budget tablet priced at Rs. 6200 and it is a direct competitor to the Micromax Funbook. For a tablet that costs 6200 rupees, the device is quite well built. You can see that the plastic is nice and it's a bit sturdy. It has a matte finish at the back which is a good grip as well and it's not going to get fingerprints and dust that easily. Uh, the connectivity options on the device include a micro USB port on top, uh, the power supply and an on off button. On the other side we have the headphones jack, the volume rocker and the micro SD card slot. There is no capacity for a SIM card which is a bit of a letdown and you can connect your USB 3G dongles only through the micro USB adapter that you get with the device. On the face it has a 7 inch display. Above the display you have the 1.3 megapixel front facing video chat camera which is quite nice. In terms of its design and build it is everything you'd expect from a budget tablet and it doesn't disappoint. The tablet runs on Google's Android operating system 4.0 ice cream sandwich. The screen has a resolution of 480 by 800 which is standard what we expect from 7 inch budget devices. In terms of its storage capacity, it has 4 GB of internal storage and 512 MB RAM with a 1.2 GHz processor. The specifications are at par with the Micromax Funbook. Coming to the performance of the device, now it has a 2800 mAh battery. Uh, this battery will last you for about 3.5 hours of continuous video playback. We played a couple of videos on it. Uh, other good points of the device are that it will run all the apps from the App Store. It comes preloaded with quite a few apps such as Astrology, News, a few games and some utility apps such as Documents to Go. The response of the display you can see is quite good up to the point when you start multitasking the keyboard. Everything works fantastically but if you have many apps running in the background you might just find the display lags a little bit. Although it functions quite well through and through for most of the time. Most of the games run absolutely well on the device. Uh, you may find a bit of lag here and there but the overall performance of the games is quite good. We've played a bit of Amazing Alex, Angry Birds. Uh, Temple Run and all the games performed quite well without any problems whatsoever. The touchscreen response was fairly good enough and the games ran very smoothly. You do have better options available in the market but if this is going to be your first tablet you could probably take a look at it along with the Micromax Funbook or the iBerry Oxus AX02 which is also available for around the same price point. The iBerry is for about seven and a half thousand and the Micromax Funbook is also for about six and a half thousand. So the screen on the device isn't uh, really fantastic. You have a problem with the viewing angles aren't the best. It's easily susceptible to glare even if there's a little light coming on the screen. The browser on the other hand gets the job done quite all right. Uh, you can browse the internet on the native browser or download a third party browser. You can zoom in to read the text. The text is relatively very clear and uh, the web browsing experience on the device if you are going to read a lot of text is quite alright. Uh, um, let's play some videos for you. The good thing about the tablet is that it played all the videos we threw at it without any hiccups. We played MOVs, MP4s, MKV files on it and there was absolutely no issues in their playback. Even uh, toggling on the timeline worked perfectly well. We ran uh, the movie Wall Street Money Never Sleeps continuously on the device to test its battery and uh, the battery will last you for about three and a half hours of continuous video playback on full brightness and about 70 to 80 percent volume. As you can see the video playback is really clear enough and the volume too is decent on the device. To conclude, we would like to say that the Zen Ultrabook is a very sleek device, the build quality is pretty good and it's a mixed bag when it comes to the performance. Uh, the screen at times is a little laggy, multitasking also slows down the device at times, but as an entry level tablet it is quite a good performer. If you are in the market to spend about 6,500 rupees on a tablet, you could take a look at the Ultratab A100 along with the Micromax Funbook or even the iBerry Oxus AX02. All three are in the six and a half to seven thousand rupee price range.